Hey, what's up, guys? I got another horror poster collection video update for you, just like the title says. Um, all these posters I got uh, this past month, November. Uh, November, I just, with the good deals, ridiculously good deals, uh, I just struck, I struck gold um, for a horror poster collector, just getting good deals like I did with these uh, the four posters that I'm going to show you is unbelievable. Um, I don't remember a good deals uh, being like this last year. I really don't. Um, um, I'm hoping maybe December I'll have a few. Hopefully, maybe I'll strike a little bit of gold in December as far as, uh, you know, good deals with the horror posters. So, all right, without further stalling, I'm going to show you the first horror poster. This is actually my second time going after this uh, poster. Um, except it, it has a different title, a uh, title that you guys uh, are pretty much more um, aware of than um, the one, the last uh, poster I showed you with that title went by. Uh, this one is, uh, uh, if I can remember, some of them are, sometimes they're like 39, they're not always 40 or 41, but I believe this is a 27 by, th uh, by uh, 41. Um, it is the original one sheet of Alice, Sweet Alice, uh, pretty cool, uh, weird 70s um, slasher. Um, in really good condition, uh, just a little bit of separation on two of the folds in the middle, the cross folds, but just a little bit of separation. Other than that, this poster is mint condition. Uh, and that's it. The other uh, one sheet I have is also. Um, 27 by 40, but it goes by Holy Terror. You guys might remember that. It's got more of a creamy brown to a darker uh, brown reddish tint to it. And this is more of a, it's a sort of brown, but it's got more of the black and white sort of uh, shading going on for this one. So there you go, Alice Sweet Alice. Got that one for fifteen dollars plus something is I'm telling you the I just the the deals last month were unbelievable um, so I'm um, talking buy it now buy it now so as Alice sweet Alice cool cool movie um, next up is another one I had to get um, to this day still this is like the only movie I like by this director uh, Neil Jordan, I believe. He put out one, he put out a vampire flick recently, I believe. I forget the name of it. It starts with a B or something like that. But anyway, I've always loved this movie. It's a really bizarre take on a fairy tale. Uh, it's coming at you from... Uh, I'm trying to find the year. I don't remember. It's the 80s. But another 27 by 41 single-sided uh, one sheet of The Company of Wolves. Really cool, bizarre... Um, horror movie. Um, it's the only horror movie to this day that um, I like that deals with the whole uh, Little Red Riding Hood theme. So, never mind that recent Twi Twilight whatever movie that came out that was had that theme going. Never mind that one. Uh, this one's the one to uh, watch. All of my opinion, folks. All in my opinion. So beautiful artwork. Uh, I'll go in there, catch catch some of the detail for you. Um, really cool. So uh, this is a movie I've had on VHS, and then like a few years ago, finally got it on DVD. Um, so if it ever hit Blu-ray, I would definitely go after that as well. Um, depending on the reviews, I guess. So, that's that. That's uh, The Company of Wolves. Alice Sweet Alice. Next up is another cool one. Going old school. Going Vincent Price once again. Um, this is my second Vincent Price poster. First one being uh, Madhouse, which I scored in like a big uh, poster lot for a good deal. This one is a 1981 re-released, re-released, the poster re-released in 1981 uh, when this movie hit theaters, this time to be in 3D, House of Wax. So, pretty cool. 
Love that artwork. Uh, pretty cool tagline. Get in there. Um, you've never been scared till you've been scared in 3D. Pretty cool. Um, this is another poster. It's sort of a dime a dozen. Um, I've always seen it available on on the Evil Bay, but um, not as a good price as I got this one for, which was like under. Uh, with shipping, it was just over twenty dollars. But um, usually, this is like a thirty or higher, um, from what I've seen, uh, price range of a poster. So had to get that one. Love the House of Wax. Um, love that I got some awesome treatment there in Blu-ray um, recently. So I still have yet to watch it in 3D. I can't wait to do that. So that is that. And then the last poster for this update, uh, fellas, is one definitely freaking had to go for. Um, this one, what's the year on this poster? I can't find it. But it's another uh, 27 by... Uh, the House of Wax actually might be 27 by 40. This is a 27 by 41. Single-sided, of course. Of City of the Walking Dead. Pretty cool. Sorry for the glare. Oh, that glare is bad. Pretty cool one sheet. Uh, it's just one of those horror posters you just... You have to go after, and uh, finally glad I did. And uh, Nightmare City is such a cool, um, <laughs> kind of goofy, uh, not quite a zombie movie, but like a, uh, I guess this could be like considered the original 28 Days Later type kind of story, really. Um, but uh, I, I love the movie. I definitely like it. But I did... Um, I do understand that, you know, if people don't like this, I mean, it is either, a, you're either going to love this movie or, a, I don't know, maybe maybe there's some out there that think it's just okay, but can't help but think this is one of those movies you either love it or hate it. But anyway, that is a beautiful poster. I love the alternate title, City of the Walking Dead. That's pretty cool. Go in, show you the close-up of the artwork. Just... Too much awesome artwork to be not, you know, not having video here. There you go. <laughs> Crashing. Everything's going hectic. Pretty cool. A lot of love went into this poster. So, uh, all these posters are in uh, very good condition. Um, the House of Wax poster, it's really old. Um, 1981, it's got, it definitely has some stress going on, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's got one little bit of separation there uh, on that photo line. It isn't, it's about like an inch. It's not too bad. But um, other than that, these posters are gorgeous. They're in really good condition. Um, finally glad I scored these for such a great deal. Um, City of Walking Dead was like... Again, I'm not lying, guys. This uh, City of Walking Dead was like uh, $26. Oh, what was the shipping? I don't remember, but man, that poster is usually very expensive. Uh, every time I've uh, looked looked for one on on Evil Evil Bay, but it, uh, anyway, that's it, guys. I'm rambling. Um, don't mean to bore you guys to death. City of the Walking Dead, House of Wax, Vincent Price one. Um, Alice Sweet Alice, good stuff, and The Company of Wolves, B bizarre out there, uh, movie, especially when you see the werewolves, like, around the dinner table, that scene right there, very bizarre, awesome, though. That is it, guys, take it easy, hope you guys enjoyed the poster update, um, and thanks for stopping by, uh, keep collecting what, what you want to collect, later.